Okay, so I'm working on redoing the steering column and the clutch mechanism and a few other things. But uh, so this is what the original steering column was. I got it unbolted because uh, that's actually a pretty heavy duty one. So I'm not gonna be using that in this project. But I'll keep that for another one and I'm gonna build my own. But uh, first thing I gotta fix is this, uh, you guys can see how cocked that is. You can see it took an accident. So I'm gonna do a little bit of body work get that fixed up so it's uh, sitting all level. And then I'm gonna take the original steering gear. I've got that down here. I'm gonna reuse this one and the main steering shaft column. I'll show you what that looks like. So I'm gonna be using the original steering column here on with a new setup that I build. And then that'll go up to the original steering wheel as well. And then uh, it'll be easier to uh, take the belt on and off. I'll show you why. Now, because I'm doing a pulley and a pulley, you can see the pulley, sorry, so many pulleys. <laughs> uh, since I'm doing a pulley inside the frame and another one up front here on the engine, I gotta run the belt around the steering. So whatever system I make, I gotta make it somewhat quick release, or not quick release, but easily unboltable so that I can take the belt on and off if I need to. Um, hopefully I won't ever have to, but uh, either way, I'm just going to build a new one. It'll clear up a bunch of space in here. As you guys can see, it already has. And uh, yeah, I'll show you what it looks like once I get that going. But first, I'm going to fix this. A little bit of body work. Yeah, yeah. All right, I think I did a pretty good job. Not perfect, but uh, you can see it's fucking level. Decent. I'll show you guys what I use. I use the big vice grips to pull the metal around, same with the small ones, and then I use my pounding hammers, not pound, but just some hammers, and just a little, tiny little hand, little pumper there, whatever you want to call it there. I just put that on the back sides of all the metal there, and then just pounded it straight. And damn, this stuff works really well, as long as you got uh, patience. Patience is key, people. But uh, now we can start working on getting the steering shaft in the mower so uh let's get at it check that out got myself a mini fridge if you guys got any sponsor stickers that's the place for them along with actually on the mowers let's go over some steering now so got it finished and damn it turned out fucking great no play whatsoever before the whole steering wheel could move like fucking a half inch it was just garbage and now it's like it's just tight as fuck. It's decent. Brace there. I put, uh, if you guys were watching the original, the first video, I guess, I used, I took out a transaxle bushing, ended up being three quarter inch. This uh, steering shaft is three quarter inch, so it fit perfectly in the bottom, so I welded that. And then, so that has no play whatsoever. You can hear just that little tiny bit. I didn't even play. And then I ended up welding uh, the end of this square, one inch square. I welded just around the inside and then drilled it out to three quarter inch. And then that took out every play bit out of the top. Little piece of one inch shaft or one inch tube there. And then there's the steering boys and ladies. That turned out really well though. I'm really happy with it. So we're gonna get on to the next thing which is uh, fitting the belt. Oh, and I guess uh, to take it off, all it is is you undo this 13 mil bolt, take off the steering wheel, and then you pull this shaft out. So then the belt will go in through here. So it's a lot easier than taking out this whole fucking steering column. So no, I'm really happy with how this has come along. Let's get it. All right, some updates here. As you can see some cardboard, some nice dish tires, dish rims. Good stance. Working on my clutch system right now. You guys can see this extra bar that's in here. Goes all the way through. So the idea is there's gonna be a clutch pedal here that uh, operates like this kind of thing. And then there's gonna be a lever there that goes back through the frame to some kind of clutch mechanism inside there. So I don't know exactly how that's gonna go, but that's kind of what I got so far raced in three different areas there so I don't think that's gonna ever uh, not work 
But uh, really happy with how it's coming. All right, so I'm about to weld this guy up. As you can see, I got it pinched. I stacked up some of these washers on the bottom and then run the bolt through like so. Thus it's pinching this collar to the pulley. Then I can weld this and know that it will be straight and not have to worry about any wobbling. So it's a good little trip. I suggest everyone does it. Get her done, get some pulley swaps going people. Let's do it. Okay. I'd also suggest make it a good weld. I'm really happy with this new welder. All right, people. Update. Belt's on. Not the right belt. I think so. Maybe. I don't know yet. I still got to build shit. But uh, do you guys notice anything? Some of you might not. But uh, some of you might get it instantly. But uh, the engine's mounted backwards. 180 degrees. Get it now? Usually the starter's on this side. I'm just doing this uh, for clearance issues. Because um, you can see that the back of the motor is very flat, unlike the front. And uh, for exhaust, I'm not going to uh, tell you guys yet how I'm doing it, but basically I needed, I need that hole down there where my steering column is. I just got the steering column off, put the belt on. As you guys can see, a couple belt lines in there. There it is. Now the pulley in the front still needs to get lifted a bit, but uh, that's what it's looking like. Isn't that rowdy? Yeah, yeah it is. <laughs> belt is, uh, I think that's gonna be a good size. And then once I actually build the clutch in here, you'll see it push it like the bell off the side there. So. I think that's gonna be right, but I'm not too sure. Another thing also, them tires. Yeah, I got them to stretch out. I'll give you guys the trick on how I did that. I wasn't able to do it with the uh, the fire, but uh, I was able to put their 16 inch tires and I put 18 inch tubes in them. Took me a lot of uh, fucking around to make it all work, just because bigger tube means uh, more tube in there, but uh, there's a couple wrinkles that I had to get rid of that all in inside, so uh, it's all good now. Very uh, GDM racer status, which is decent though. I'm going for that kind of on this build, so just doing with the camber and whatnot, but uh, more old school. So, all right. So the clutch setup on this is going to be completely custom because the Toro. All the other clutches and shit that I didn't want, but gave me a good little clutch idler pulley here, idler pulley. And then I made my own little bracket, I laid down a little piece, it goes in the hole, bolt's gonna get ran through that, and then that will have that pulley on it out there. All that will get crammed in there, and then uh, we'll be able to have a little lever, foot lever, I mean, right here. And then uh, you sit on it. You know, the big old dirty gas pedal and then a nice little custom clutch pedal of some kind of sort. Bang gears in between. It's going to be a pretty decent setup and it's going to be nice because in the snow, no snow is going to be getting up in inside the frame here. Not much anyways, unless I'm plowing like a foot or something, but uh, it should be fucking decent. Alright, see some body works getting done. I'm making some fender wells. So see extensive amount of work's been done. This is replicated on the other side there. So yeah, I'm gonna have to grind this all down. And uh, I don't know if I'm gonna try and bondo it and shit or just paint over it. I don't think it really matters that much because uh, here, I'll show you from back. Back here, you can see the shape of a wheel well, which is decent. I gotta do a little bit more grinding right there. But uh, loving it the way it's coming so far. This thing's coming along too, so it's just a slow process because it's on the back burner. Well, I gotta help the other guys' projects out and whatnot, and I still got other stuff I'm doing. Plus, I gotta keep the social media updated, right, boys? All right, guys, so we're back in the garage working on the mini mower. As you can see, decent amount of stuff's been done. 
Clutching's getting working on right now, as you can probably see there. So we'll get right in on her. Clutching system's coming along in there. So we haven't done too much. It's just kind of sitting in there, but it's just giving you guys an idea of how this setup's going to work. Sorry, I'm just kind of getting used to the new camera setup here, so. But we're getting rid of shaky footage, hopefully. Yeah, look at that. Stance looks decent. That stance is unreal. Hanging chain. Decent. Love the way it's coming along. Everything about it. Right, so as you can see here, that's where the belt is going to be run. The rear front pulley is going to be lifted up a little bit. And you can see that the linkage where the clutch is going to be like so. So it's going to be ran from this little linkage bar, which goes over to your pedal, up to here. And this will then be able to be moved on and off from clutching it. Sorry, this would be clutching it not clutching it, having tension. So you can see how that kind of works out. Super sweet, nice little system we got going here. All right, so we made some good progress here. You can kind of see some linkage arm. Everything is just loosely put in and I'm pretty happy with just how loosely everything's tight. So it actually does kind of, I'll give you guys proof of concept. So this is without the clutch being attached. If I were to uh, spin this pulley, you'd see this pu this pulley doesn't spin. And then you throw out the clutch, and now you got a tight belt. Now, I don't know how much clutch play I'm actually going to have, or how much clutch throw, I should say. But uh, that's pretty awesome. You can see that's now on there. That's going to work good. And then just toss it off. See, you can't see, but I'm moving it and the pulley spinning back here, and uh, now the belt's not moving. This is a brand new belt, it'll have to get burned in, but uh, I'm really happy with how this is uh, working. I think that's gonna be a super simple concept and work fucking awesome. back at it the mini drift mower she's looking good today body's just placed on there you can see the clutch in there the linkage there's the linkage in there you can see how that kind of goes back to there there's my new lever that i'm going to weld on that's going to be my clutch pedal piece of chain and then i'm going to start getting uh the brakes going uh, some gas pedal action, uh, choke, yeah, maybe a little test drive soon, we'll see. You guys can see, big boolins in the background, damn, along with every other fucking mower. God damn it. Turn it in. I just gotta hook up the linkage again. 
We're gonna get the engine bolted in here and then start setting up the gas pedal and then setting up the choke and uh, getting a different little intake box set up here and you'll see that later. But uh, let's first get the keyway in, like I was showing you there, actually get it actually in, and then uh, get it bolted in, and then we should uh, get those other things done and hopefully be going for a little peel ski soon. I don't think we have any snow outside, so uh, that's pretty sick, but uh, yeah, whatever, we'll get some drifts anyways. <laughs>